All right, guys, we're going to look at unit 3B. So I'll go ahead and make a table of contents for that. Pause the video and copy that down. So unit 3B, applying trigonomic identities and equations. So same as unit 3A. Law of sine, determine if triangle exists. Ambiguous case, law of sines. Law of cosine, mixed applications. That's laws of sine and cosine. Area of triangles, applications of area of triangles, and a review. Okay, so pause the video and copy that down. As always, you're going to need to make a cover page. Okay, so make a cover page, pause the video, copy that down. All right, now that you've done that, you're going to take your sheets of paper. We're going to cut them up. All right, so again, apply pressure on your left hand. With your right hand, grab a few pages from the corner, pull them towards your left hand, and pull them. Okay, make sure you keep the pages in order as you go so that they're easy to glue in. So once again, uh, middle of the page, pass the page number, line it up, pressure on your left hand, right hand pulls the corner down and to the ruler, all the way down, and put the pages in order. All right, once you have your pages, you're going to glue them two to a page in order for this unit. Just make sure that when you glue this, that you are staying away from the margins. Do not glue here and do not glue here. Okay, the entire time you're gluing this, make sure that you stay away from the margin. If you're using my glue, you're going to put four small dots in the first line and four small dots on the second to last line. Four small dots on the first line. Four small, I mean, two small dots on the second to last line. All right, put them more towards the center. I've put them more at the edge, but put them more towards the center. And then you're going to glue your pages in order, staying away from this margin right here and away from this margin right here. So again, do not glue past this margin right here, okay? So you're going to slowly glue that in. Just make sure you don't have any um, overflow of glue. If you do, you do need to wipe it off because this is very strong glue. So again, first line, somewhere in most center, small dots, second to last line, small dots, first line, small dots, second to last line, small dots. All right, and then you're gluing your pages in order. Do not pass the margin. So as you're gluing, you're checking. Do not cross these margins. All right, if you have any excess glue, make sure to wipe that off because it will stick. Again, four small dots in the center, uh, second to last line there, center of the first line, second to last line of that one. All right, and you just keep gluing your pages in order all the way back. Stay away from the margins, okay? So again, make sure you are not gluing past this margins right here. Wipe off any excess glue before you turn the page over. First line, two small dots. Second to last line, two small dots. First line, two small dots. Second to last line, two small dots. Again, just keeping your pages in order. If you get any excess glue, wipe it off. All right, again, away from these margins. Do not cross those margins. First line, two small dots. Second to last line, two small dots. First line, two small dots. Second to last line, two small dots. Glue in your pages in order. Again, do not cross these margins. Okay, next page. First line, two small dots. Second to last line, two small dots. First line, two small dots. Second to last line, two small dots. In order. All right, make sure you wipe off any excess glue. Make sure your margins are clear. First line, two small dots. Second to last line, two small dots. First line, two small dots. Second to last line, two small dots. All right, that brings us to the end. Go all the way to the beginning so we can make our tabs. 
All right, to make your tabs, this is how it's going to work. Take a pencil real quick and mark this first line right here. Then count every five lines, mark a line. Every five lines, a line. Every five lines, a line. Every five lines, a line. What you're going to do is take your page. You're going to fold this over, and you're going to copy this down. It is the first tab, which is Law of Signs. And Law of Signs, if you look at the table of contents, it's going to be three pages long. Okay, so Law of Signs, this first tab is going to be three pages long. All right, so copy that down, and you'll see Law of Sign. Okay, so make sure the title matches. So Law of Sign is three pages long. So one double page, two double page, because this is still about sign. Three double page, laws of sign. So laws of sign, three double pages. Okay, so three double pages. Once you're done with that, you're going to count the three pages, come back to your cover, and then fold it over. And the next two spaces that you marked, mark it on the next one, and that's going to be law of cosine. Okay, so that's going to be law of cosine. So again, still just following the table of contents. So after three pages for law of sine, law of cosine. All right, so copy that down. Then you're going to take that one. Everything else from here is one. Take the one page over, fold it over. The next space is going to be mixed applications. Okay. Take that page, fold it over. Go ahead and... Uh, Fold over your, your first page over a little bit. Your next space, this space right here, is going to be area of triangles. All right, so same thing. Take that page, include it in the folded over. And your next space is going to be applications of area of triangles. So you're just matching what it says in the table of contents. And it looks like we only have one space left. So again, take the page. And that last page, or the last space, that last space is going to be review. All right, so once you have the last tab labeled, we're going to go ahead and make cutout tabs out. So you, as always, you know, the cover page, put your ruler down the margin, cut directly down. Okay, so press on your left hand with your right hand, pull down. You can see the first tab has appeared. So what you're going to do is take your ruler, Cut it to the tab, and then cut it all the way down. Now remember, law of sign, the reason the next tab didn't appear is because law of sign is what? Three pages. So you got to do this with three pages. So I'm going to actually pick the three pages I was supposed to. So this is one, two, and three. Cut it to the margin, and then cut it down. And as soon as you do that, you can see the next tab appears. And you can keep turning the pages um, if you want. I'm just doing this all at, on the same page. Okay, so you can turn the page for ease if that is easier for you. Law of cosines, just one page. So cut to the margin and cut down. Next tab appears. Same thing. Take that page, that particular page, mixed applications. Cut to the margin and all the way down. And again, you can do this individually. You can just turn to the page. Um, you can just turn to area of triangles and cut just that page like this. Or you can just cut it from the cover page, whichever one's easier. But every time you every time you cut the page, the next tab should appear. So again, you can take that page up, cut it to the margin, and cut it down, and the next tab should appear. So when you have completely cut all the pages, you should have all your tabs appear. Okay, so now you have unit 3B ready to go. Let's practice.